Ladies and gentlemen, something bad is happening in Minecraft. Ever since Microsoft took over Minecraft and gave all that money to Notch, I've honestly thought Microsoft has been doing a good job. They've been somewhat receptive towards player feedback. They've let Mojang basically have all creative freedom over the game. Sure, there's been some monetization um, stupidity with Bedrock Edition. Sure, you know... There's some stuff in Minecraft right now that doesn't really look like Minecraft. The, the feel of the game, I mean, it's, it's still fun, it's still Minecraft, but it doesn't really feel like as majestic as the older Minecraft. Maybe I'm just being nostalgic, but I think they're swaying really, really far from what made the game basically simple. But regardless, I thought Microsoft has done not that bad of a job considering that they're Microsoft. Now, um, I thought that. Now they're now they're sort of backtracking, prove me wrong with this new update. I think this new update that Microsoft has released is something that should not happen in any video game whatsoever. So this direction that Microsoft is taking with their asset of Minecraft has, has been sort of teased and egged on a little bit over the past how many so months, maybe even years. And that is that Microsoft wants to be as corporate friendly and as family friendly as possible with their game. Now corporate friendly, family friendly, advertiser friendly, what does that mean? That means it has to appear as safe as possible to the consumer, you know, as, as, as neutral as possible. No edgy memes, no dark humor, no, none of that, none of that in this minecraft this is a family friendly pc game and ultimately microsoft is now really stating that this is their game this isn't mojang's game this isn't some java game so why do i say that now microsoft has really really tried and hampered down on migrating their players from a Mojang account to a Windows Microsoft Bedrock account. And it was a really annoying process because my Mojang account, dude, my Mojang account was made in like 2011. Dude, that, that is so old. It was, it was through like an email that was like my dad's third personal business email. I don't even know if that email still exists, but I had to use that and it was a pain in the butt to try to migrate that to a, like a Microsoft account. But that's aside the point, they really, really hampering down on this established as their game. And with that has come an update that quite frankly, is appalling. And that is the 1.19.1 chat reporting update. So chat reporting has been a feature in Minecraft for quite some time. It was mainly prevalent in the Bedrock Edition. And honestly, it hasn't really been that supportive of a feature. And sure as heck, it really isn't now. So the chat reporting feature, basically, it sounds good in theory. You know, if there's a message in the chat room, or in, God, I sound like a boomer, in the, in the, in the text box, I'm just gonna call it that, and you think it's violent, leaks personal information, it's just a detriment to society in terms of a very, very harmful way. Yeah, I definitely think that a user typing those messages should face consequences. However, the prongs for what is deemed as an abusive message that Microsoft has laid out are very, very, very subjective, very questionable, and extremely controversial. We'll get to that. We'll get to those prongs specifically in a second, but basically to summarize, players can now report on other messages and these messages may deem that the user typing those messages can receive a permanent or temporary ban. Now, who reviews these messages? These messages are reviewed by quote-unquote professional well-trained moderators security breach i don't even know why you get that job like where it's like honey i'm home it's like oh how was your day good i read i read messages for three hours straight and i didn't get a lunch break or anything it was such a busy day like i don't know why you'd have that on your resume but that's aside the point these are human moderated <clears throat> and with that comes lots of flaws because as we look at the prongs um a lot of this is subjective like i just said the first one being hate speech hate speech i've never heard a singular definition for what hate speech is because it's subjective like obviously i i would deem hate speech as something that's completely and totally violent like a physical threat a harmful threat a racial threat whatever things that are to the extreme i don't deem someone else's political opinion as hate speech and a lot of people do and it's really scary because that is some george orwell stuff in my opinion and what's even more scary about the hate speech prong is that it could be totally abused because as microsoft defines it it's basically an attack on someone's identity and honestly like if i say f you that could be an attack on identity in my opinion um so many like so many insults hurled at each other that are at least somewhat vulgar can be identified as hate speech in addition another prong is imminent harm um that could also be taken really out of context like fitmc describes it perfectly in his video like if you tell someone to jump off a cliff in the game or jump off like just 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 to die in, in the game 
what if, what if a human moderator reviews that as, oh, that guy's trying to get the other guy to commit suicide IRL? Like, that opens up a whole can of worms for just potentially stupid bannings. So there's another prong, it's uh, defamation. I don't really get why that's a thing. Obviously, if someone's gonna pretend that they're Notch or pretend that they're someone famous, like, it's so easy to tell that they're not that person. And that's, and that's really the case with anyone. Like, if I tried to pretend that I was someone else online, like, anyone who actually knows that person well can just tell that something's off. And, like, what if my whole point was to, like, troll and pretend that I'm like Justin Bieber or something. Is that is that gonna get me banned from the game? Can I not be Justin Bieber? It just it just doesn't really make sense to me why that was included. So what do I overall think of this? I do think this is a serious, serious threat to Minecraft's longevity. I think that this can be easily abused by multiple players in different circumstances. Like I think if a player holds a huge grudge against another player, what's gonna stop them from reporting all of their messages as hate speech or imminent threat or whatever. But it comes with some good. Like I definitely think that it'll take action against you know weird vulgar extreme stuff that can be said in a game chat like i think i think any game would benefit from at least those strengths of a re reporting system however the way that microsoft is just implementing this that everyone has free reign to report whatever that they want and the fact that it's human moderated i mean if it was a machine moderated it'd be the same thing because it's really hard to tell what a message is given it's no context whatsoever i think that this will seriously spell harm to minecraft and i think that microsoft really needs to revamp this update overall to really meet what the the players actually want from this game and all the potential mishaps the system could have and additionally fit mc who's been really 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 hammering down as to why this update is bad cool guy by the way huge alpha chad minecraft stud he really really reasons perfectly as to why this update is a big middle finger to all of the anarchy servers that exist because those anarchy servers are built on this like vulgar chatting and telling people to die and spamming stupid stuff like that's the whole that's the whole point of these servers it's anarchy you can say whatever the heck you want like sure you'll face social consequences sure you'll face uh in-game consequences and you might get banned for like saying extreme extreme stuff but now you're whole opening up a whole can of worms with this whole hate speech thing that's that's what i'm really getting at i think the term hate speech is super broad and can be construed in multiple ways so yeah that's basically it this is a really bad update for a game i love it really sucked to go on twitter and see that hashtag save minecraft was the number one thing trending because seriously i thought microsoft and minecraft were just gonna only head upwards i think that they're gonna release like an ether update and just all i think that they have multiple great things planned for the game so just to see something like this trending and people and players outraged completely for justifiable reasons that microsoft's doings here um it's really sad to see because i don't i don't know if this is, will be fixed that's the thing with microsoft like they're so so non-responsive to player feedback it's insane and they and this is another thing microsoft really just does not know how to handle game studios it's why bungie left to, to pursue destiny it's why 343 and halo infinite are just completely completely canning it because microsoft does not really care about the game studios themselves they buy them up they create new corporate ones like with halo like they completely did with Bungie and just made some corporate machine out of 343 like they don't really understand the art of games they understand how to make a good console like with the 360 but when in terms of games at least now they, they just they're just so out of touch not as out of touch as Nintendo but they're still very 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 they, they still have, they still have a lot to improve upon with regards to actually making a fun experience as opposed to as opposed to like a really corporate um plastic experience with their game studios i this isn't mojang's fault this is completely microsoft's so yeah guys that's basically all i got for you today if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i really enjoy making these con this type of content i want to make more gaming videos by the way maybe some minecraft videos we'll see but other than that peace out have a good one have a great day see ya